also at four. He's used to standing in front of a congregation, but today a local rabbi accused of getting a 15-year-old girl pregnant stood before a judge. The rabbi will remain in jail tonight. This is News 6 at 4. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Lisa Bell. Julie Broughton is off tonight. A judge took away 41-year-old Lloyd Houghton's bond today in court. He is now charged with sexual assault on a child older than 12 but younger than 18. News 6 reporter Nadine Giannis is live from outside the Seminole County Jail this afternoon. And Nadine, typically a charge like this does warrant a bond. So why did the judge still deny that? Well, for two reasons, Lisa. First of all, the judge felt like as a Sanford rabbi that he would be just too great of a risk to the community. And secondly, she says that the evidence against him is too great. That evidence is DNA that links him to the teen's unborn child. Court is going to issue a no bond. Though he's used to speaking in front of people at a synagogue, Lloyd Houghton had no words in front of a judge at his first appearance today. The 41 year old rabbi at the synagogue Beth Israel is accused of sexually assaulting and getting a 15 year old girl pregnant. Today we learned that girl is a relative. He's an extended family member. According to his arrest report, the victim began living with Houghton when she was just eight years old, her mother from Jamaica, trusting he would take care of her. But in March at 15, years old, the girl came forward, telling police that for years Houghton snuck in her room at night to sexually assault her. He was questioned, but then denied it. Unfortunately, at that time, there wasn't enough physical evidence to make an arrest. However, one month later in April, the girl said she was now pregnant. She ended up getting an abortion. Detectives took that DNA, and when the results came back, it showed this rabbi was 99.99% the father. And detectives had enough to make an arrest. When a person that's, you know, in a position of authority, such as a rabbi or any kind of church or clerical leader, um, they have a certain amount of trust that's bestowed upon them by their congregation and the public in general. And so today I spoke to another rabbi at that synagogue, and he says that Houghton no longer works there with them, but police say that he has worked there for years. So my question to them was, could there be more victims out there? Hear their answer in my story tonight at 5 o'clock. Live in Seminole County, Nadine Giannis, News 6.